Hello, welcome back. So, in the previous video, we did uh, a little bit of cleanup. Uh, so, just a bunch of things. Uh, we move the add node, our test node, to the test file. So, now DigiPy is kind of cleaner, I guess. Uh, we also change the way we are uh, setting the level to the logger, uh, to the bug messages. Uh, we, we set that as a decorator, so now we can decorate uh, the, the tests we want to see messages. Although there's an error here. Okay, so let's fix this real quick. So the idea is uh, we set we save the current level of the logger, we set it, the level to the bug, we run the test, and we set the original level back, right? And that's pretty much it. Uh, the problem is, well, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't see this coming, but if this function fails, uh, we never set the level back, right? So that's not good. So let's try setting this in a try, and this should be a finally. And and now if we want to return a uh, return value and this fail, we need to set this here. So return value would be equals to none. Cool. That's exactly the same, but a little bit safer. I run this. Oh, good. Cool. Uh, so what else? We did that. We move here. We have a register node now function, so we can register nodes. For now, we are doing that like, oh, like, like very explicitly. But the idea is have some kind of recursion going on, so it registers all the nodes in some directory or something. Uh, we also have a get, a getter. Let me, this should be like that. So we can do graph.get and we pass a full name and it returns uh, the node or the port or whatever it is. Uh, so in order to do that, we have a full name now implemented. And that was the last video, I think. So today, we're finally working on the serialization of connected uh, connected nodes. Uh, so far, we can serialize graph with orphan nodes, nodes not connected to anything. But we can't really handle connections yet. So we're going to do that. And yes, let's jump. Just let's go for it. So I need a new test, of course. So def uh, test connected nodes. Okay. So I need a graph with with uh, with connected nodes, and I know that I did that before. For example, here. So I can copy that. And paste it here. So ideally, we should have like functions to create those graphs, so that we don't have to copy paste so much. But that would take time, and this some video, and yeah, you know, maybe in a in a next cleanup session or something. So okay, oh, uh, we don't have a model, so this would be digipy dot pool or whatever, just to have something there. So we have a graph with two nodes, and uh, the value two of node two is connected to the value to the result of node one. I hope that makes sense. So now let me send that this. Okay. So now uh, we want to serialize this. So this is graph dot serialize. So we get the data. Oops. And now we're going to create a new graph. So graph two, it's equal to digipy dot graph dot from data. We pass the data. And this new graph should have exactly the same connections, nodes, everything that the original one. So I can test set true that graph yeah graph two dot get 
and we're going to get uh, node two dot value two that is connected. So we we want to make sure that in the new graph node two value two, which is this, but in the new graph, right, is connected. So that should be true. So let me run this, and we fail the test. So why we fail it? Let's use our super decorator. <laughs> so we fail, and of course we fail because the sources are empty. We are not saving that yet. And I assume we are not trying to recreate that yet. So let's do that. Uh, and I think that's done in the port class serialize exactly so here the sources we're setting a, a empty set and that's not good we we need to go through the connection to the sources sorry so i will replace this by uh how comprehension oh, i don't know how to how this i don't remember the name but yeah for loop uh So we are going, oops, it's like that. We are going through all the sources and we're getting the full name, which is just a string, so we can serialize that easily. Uh, we can do the, the object itself because that's in memory. And, you know, every time you execute this, uh, this stuff gets stored in a different address, in a different place in the memory. So it doesn't make any sense to save that. But if you save the name, it's like a, a cool reference. So let me run this again. And we still fail, but we have the source there. So that's awesome. So now let's use this uh, when we create from data. So where is that? From data here. So of course, we are not even trying. So let me... Save this support equal to that, and this uh, support dot value right. Uh, but instead of doing that, I wanna if not a uh, port dot is connected. So I only want to set the value when it's not connected, and here I need to set the connection. So for source name uh, in port data sources okay I need graph dot get a source name so that give me the port right and I can just say port dot connect and I pass that that in theory should work. So let me try this. And yes, it works. So we have our connection, the test passing. So let me remove the debug to make it cleaner. Everything is good. So yes, that's pretty much it for two nodes. So right now, so th there's an issue here. And I think we, we're going to address that in the next video. I don't want to go too long and there's not enough time to do it now, but uh, we need to create, uh, how to explain this? There's an order, right? So node two depends on node one. So we have to make sure that we create node one first and then node two, right? Otherwise, uh, when it tries to connect, there is nothing in the graph yet, right? Let's imagine that we create the node two first here, right? This node two, the first node ever in the graph, and then we try to get uh, the source to to recreate the connection. Well, this this is not in the graph yet, you know, this stuff here. So it will fail, and now it's not failing because maybe it's sort by name or who knows. But uh, we have to make sure that this work 
every time. So we are going to do that in the next video. And we are going to do a test to show you how it, how it fails and all that stuff. So that's it for now. So see you soon. Bye-bye.